we're heading to the farm and uh, this is actually my first time this year. If you guys are new, uh, Brady, his dad is a farmer and so they have a farm that's like two and a half hours from where their house is, or two and a half hours from our house. I think it's like, what, three and a half hours from no, there? No, way closer to from Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um, I think, I thought we were going south or something. No, we're going west. Okay. So they're an hour and a half, you think? Yeah, or a little closer. Okay. Um, so it's not too far from them. It's a little farther from, for us, but um, his dad, like, is retired from the bank, and so now he's, like, out here all the time. Obviously, um, I know nothing about farming, so I uh, get all my farming info from Brady because I know nothing about this world. I just like to come out and like get on the tractors. You think we'll get on the tractors today? Probably. Oh, yes. Well, it depends if they're being used because it's harvest time. Oh, okay. It's a really but nice. Used. It's a really nice uh, day today. It is 80. I think we're supposed to be 80 degrees, so it's also hard to get service out here. We're when we get out here, it's kind of like the middle of nowhere. The closest town has 1,300 people and we're still like a little ways from that town. Um, whenever we get out to the farm, we're like on gravel roads. You're really like kind of far away. It's super nice to have like a little secluded like um, day, I guess, uh, or a little trip. Sometimes we'll stay overnight too um, and that's really relaxing, but we usually come out and someone will usually grill or we will get on the um, uh, four wheelers or that's kind of all we do I guess um, and like play with the pond. kids oh yeah there's a pond um, so we'll go to like the pond uh, Bane loves to swim in it and there oh nice um, isn't there like a, a little thing that we got on that one time didn't your dad uh, buy paddle boat. Yeah, a paddle yeah. boat. Um, so there's a paddle boat out there now so we can actually go out on the water. Um, and Bane loves to swim. So there's like a lot of nice little things to do, but it's just kind of like a nice little getaway. And we'll like set up little picnic chairs by the pond, just like watch the dog. Not dogs. Oh, Brady, his uh, mom had a dog and he passed away. He's like, got to be like eight and then just like literally randomly one day, like just. I think he had like a seizure or something, or I don't yeah, know what like, happened. A tumor burst. A tumor burst. Um, which is such a like sad, scary thing that you like never know when that time's gonna come for your dog. But anyway, he's not here, but usually he'll come out and bane, like they play back and forth. But um, we're gonna have a really good day today. This is gonna be the only time I'll show you guys the farm this year because I haven't been all year and also um, I'm not gonna come back probably when it's cold. So and if I do come back when it's cold, I'm probably not gonna vlog it because there really, really isn't as much to do if you're not outside. Um, but once we get there, I'll show you guys inside the house. I'll show you guys around. It's like a really nice, relaxing like place to go. We love coming out here. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. going out there because he can smell all of the um, deer that are out. We're walking down to the uh, pond area and I'll have to show you guys in literally like two seconds. I guess I can show you now. This is where the water is and Bane, you can just barely see him. He's like right down there. Um, they rode the four wheelers over but we wanted to walk. Hi bud! <laughs> He loves being out here by the water. Hi, bud. Hey, baby boy. He looks so happy. He just got out in the water. Hi. <laughs> yes. uh, he's so funny. He would literally love being a farm dog. Hi, happy boy. There it goes. Yep. Hey, you like being in the water. You like being in the water. hot out here. I had to take off the little zip up that I had on. I wish I had some sunglasses on. It's like super hot. Babe, do you want to ride on the uh, four-wheeler? 
give her a go. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. He like thinks that he <laughs> <even> barks this. <laughs> These are big. Does it matter which one I pick? Mm. Ooh. Watch out, Bane. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Get back. Ew. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right, put it on the hook. Ew, you put it on there. How do I do it? Here, you just kind of... Cut in half. Cut in half? Absolutely not. Uh uh, I can't cut it in half. Oh, why are they so big? Bane, come here. I don't know, just watching them like it's gonna go. Ew. Alright, now okay. grab the hook. <laughs> grab the hook. Ew. So you'll kind of like, there's different ways to do it. For one that's big, you're gonna like. Okay, can you tell me? Like, poke it through. Big. Like, Basically, gonna like put it through the worm like three or four times. Off, like I can't, I can't do yes, that. Can. I can't yes, do can. that. No, yes, I can't. Yes, I can't. Yes, you can. I can't do that. I can't do that. I like worms too much. <laughs> They're they don't feel it. Yes, they do. They don't. How do you know? No, I think they do. I can't do that. Ugh. Brian, do you really put the worms like? Like you put the them in there multiple times? Yeah. Come Ugh. on, you can do it. Uh, you can do it. Okay. Grab the hook. Uh, where's the thing? Once you start it, where's it's the... fine. Um, Where'd it go? Oh, I don't know if I can do this. You can do it. This is like fear factor. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, you have to put some pressure into it. Pressure! You can do it. Lower, like in the thick part. <gasps> the thick part? Yes. You can lay it down like that if you want. Hold it, hold one end of it, and then... No. Yes. They have like seven hearts. Oh, no! <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do it. I can't yes, you can. It. Look, it's it's getting tight like that. Yes, that makes it so you can do it. It's helping you. I can't do it. You. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Uh-uh. Tap out. I can't do it. <laughs> Come on. You do it. I can't do it. Yes, I can't you can. Do it. Uh -uh. Oh, you got one. Woo! Oh, wow. Wow. Looks good. Hey, Bane. It's a fish off. Who will get the fish? Brian or Brady? Hold it back here. Uh huh. Then as you're going out, going forward, you'll hit that. So like, you'll start the throw, and then you'll like hit it like as you're like getting close. Like, to the so, okay. Like, like if I was like this, I go like, hit it right here. Okay, I'm not gonna hit Brian. I apologize if I hit you, Brian. <laughs> use two. You use two, both hands. Both hands. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that warm just. <laughs> they made it out there. <laughs> Barely. Uh, can I try again? You can. You might just let it sit there for a second. See okay. if anything bites. It's a long line. Take a little bit. You can tighten it a little bit. You see that? Good, Bob. Yeah. Oh, I'm fighting at it. Is it? Yep. Did they let go or what? They're playing with the worm right now. Just start from moving it. No, you're wet. See if you got yeah. it. You it? Come on. Oh my gosh, I got it, I got it! Hey, pick oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what kept happening to Corbin. Oh, Try again. Try again. Oh my gosh, I thought I had it. I was not having that. Oh. We have scissors somewhere. Yeah, I didn't know what to touch that. Warm. Wow. Yep. 
up. There it goes. It's doing it. It still starts like, like it's running away with it. That's what Daddy is doing. Okay. Good to know. Oh, fell off. Uh. I wonder if the hooks are too big if they're falling off. Ooh, this one's really playing with it. Uh-huh. It's nibbling on it. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh. Bring it in. Oh, come on. Oh. oh look how much yeah. it ate off of it. It was definitely on it there. Was on it. it ran away and I couldn't reel it fast enough. It was definitely on there. Look at that. It's barely any left on there. Probably enough, though. Yeah. yeah. It's probably better now, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let me do it one more time. No, let, me, let me see it. You gotta put it back on there more. Maybe I was blind, known you forever while I tried to find someone that could be my great love. Right in front of me, I didn't realize you were. In the back. Oh, really? Why? Oh. Now you're laying next to me. Feels like oh, yeah. over to Brady's tree house when he was a kid, he would come out here. It's so windy, but it actually feels so good. It's like 81 degrees today. We're gonna go back to the house because Bane, he wants some water. He's like so tired. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's just like barely trucking along because he swam earlier. So he's like so tired. Also carrying this little like blanket we were laying on for a little picnic. We go in and get like some chips or something. Just like chill for a bit. We had so much fun at the farm yesterday and it really made me realize how little I actually just like chill and relax. Um, so this morning I went to my parents' house and just hung out with them for a bit. That was really nice. Um, I feel like I, over the past probably like four years, have really been in a mind like set of Putting, like work first but I kind of want to like turn that on its head a bit and like obviously still I want to work but I want to make sure that I'm prioritizing my own relaxation too because I think that the habits I'm building right now are things that I feel like will not translate when I get to the point in my career that I want to be or plan to be at one day like I think I always tell myself like whenever I get to where I want to be in my career I will slow down but for one I forget like I'm literally living right now so like tomorrow isn't really promised so I feel like I should make sure that I'm also like prioritizing myself and another thing I think that I don't think about is that the habits I'm making for myself right now whenever I get to where I plan on being in my career, will I actually be able to like slow down or will I like just constantly work? Like I don't think that working is a bad thing at all, but I think you can get into the habit of not knowing how to relax when you work so much. And I wanna make sure that I still like remember how to relax and take time for myself. So um, I say that of course, as I'm folding laundry and like doing something that's like not for myself, but 
I think I'm gonna um, go have a little like reading time outside. I've really been enjoying that and the weather today is so nice. Like I really don't even need to wear this sweater, but I am because it's like super cozy. One thing about um, American Eagle and their like outfits and stuff is that everything is so comfortable that it's like literally not itchy at all. Um, and I just did like a little bra tuck with this sweater just tucked it underneath this bra. I've actually started wearing bras again, which I hadn't for a while um, because I just couldn't find any that were like comfortable, um, but the Skims bras are super comfortable. So I really like those and they don't feel like I'm actually wearing anything at all. It's just like, I don't know, feels like literally like another skin on top of my skin. So I'm super comfortable wearing them. Um, I actually have a couple packages and I think one of the packages that came in is a skims package so i'm going to open that up um in a second here i also have some flowers that i want to cut up and get kind of like i don't know set out in the house i just haven't done it yet so i think maybe i'll do that after i um go outside for a little bit actually let's go open the packages now um, i'm gonna put this up real quick and we can go open the packages and i'll show you guys what i got So this first one that I'm going to open, this first package, I know what this is, and I think I told you guys I was going to buy this, and I, <laughs> so funny, so I bought this book on pre-order, and it just got here um, two days ago, and it is the 23rd of October, it literally just got here on the 21st. Um, and it was released the 18th. So I went out and bought it in the store. So I'm going to return this to Barnes and Noble because I obviously don't need it anymore. Um, but I got that in the mail. Um, I was really surprised that it wasn't delivered, um, on the day that like it was released because it kind of really doesn't make sense to me. If you're going to be able to pre-order something and you don't get it, at least relatively, like I'd say you should get the day it's released personally but like if you know the mail like makes it a little late and that's fine but it wasn't shipped out until i think it was shipped out like sunday or no not sunday i think it was shipped out like monday so yeah it just seemed a little late because i think tuesday was the day that it was um available for like purchase or whatever in store so got that also this order is one i'm so excited about because it is a ton of stuff from skins now this believe it or not is a very pricey bag because i got one two three four five things from skins you guys know skins is not cheap but literally that's the only bra that i'm like really loving lately um so that's what i'm wearing right now so first thing that i picked up is another bodysuit and this is just like i can't even explain how comfortable this is um i have this bodysuit in two other colors in like a light tan color and then i have it in kind of like a purpley tone um they're super stretchy so they don't like give you that like weird rubbing that you sometimes get um with like bodysuits so comfortable um this one is I say the price but i want to say it's like maybe 50 bucks 70 dollars. i don't know they're not like cheap but one thing about these is like you'll constantly gravitate towards this like i wear this with sweatpants i would wear it with this with jogger shorts um i would wear this with jogger shorts and a zip up over top for the winter i would wear it with um leather pants and a blazer um you can literally dress it up or like dress it for everyday wear so i really like that um, I constantly, constantly gravitate towards it. Also got a pair of underwear from them because I own um, a couple pairs of their underwear and they're the kind that I constantly grab for. So I feel like if I'm grabbing for something more than other stuff in my wardrobe, then I probably need more of it in my closet because, um, you know, I'm just going to keep like rewashing the other stuff that I have. So I got that and I also got this pair. And then um, I got this pair. I don't remember buying these three. So this is a different 
different hair because this has like the elasticy feel and this is like elastic but it's like more of a um has more of like a cloth feel so i guess i got two of this kind and one of this kind and i think they had like buy three and they'd be like ten dollars each or something like that so i remember i wanted to buy three for a reason then i also got um another one of these tops and it's just a little like t-shirt but i will usually wear um the like a bralette or something underneath it because it is um something that is like very stretchy um and i really like this and i have this bralette in the same color so i'll usually wear the matching bralette underneath it with this top um, i do that a lot with um the other t-shirt that i have and it's just really really comfortable like i just can't explain how comfortable their pieces are so um i had like five other things on in the cart but i was like i really need to wait and see if i even want those things um because i might change my mind and like want maybe heavier pieces for fall so i just got a couple of basics and then i got this pr package from skylar um which skylar is a perfume brand they have i think other things too but i really only purchased their perfume or maybe they are strictly perfume but um they send me pr sometimes i purchase their perfume sometimes it really just depends on like what i'm looking for um but it's they're just like such a cool team um and i've loved like partnering with them um this is not sponsored in any way they are just sending this to me to try out so i'll let you guys know what i think but it says uh, on their little note that they sent, hello from Skylar, try the scent that sold out three times from our scent club, the world's largest clean fragrance club with notes of pure vanilla, cotton candy, and coconut milk. Boardwalk Delight brings fond memories to the front of your mind, enjoy. I feel like this is gonna give me like the fair vibes. Um, the fragrance notes again are pure vanilla, cotton candy, and coconut milk. They actually have um, a club that you can be a part of. It's called the Scent Club. And they send you, I think, a scent every month. And I really like to keep these on my bedside because they're a roll-on instead of like a spray. So you can keep them in your purse. You can keep them on your bedside. Um, this is what they look like uh, close up. It's just like a, I don't know, a little roll-on thing. Let me see what this smells like. Oh my gosh. Wow. This smells so good. This is very strong. It literally smells like cotton candy. Oh my gosh. I love that. Wow. I'm going to put that all over. I feel like this definitely gives like nostalgic vibes. Really, really like the fragrances. They're super long lasting. So I usually keep this in my purse bedside um or sometimes i'll keep it in my car if i just like forget to put on a perfume that day then i have something to like roll on um and they're a pretty good size i feel like sometimes when you get like the travel sizes they're really small but this one is like i mean you can see in relation to my hand it's like almost at the top of my pinky finger so that's pretty high so yeah let's head out and have a little reading picnic day you guys know i love those and they're super relaxing um so let's go do that i want to do it all with you by my side if you're in meet me here tonight be brave and come along i'll be your right promise we don't need no break lights we can travel the world so just say yes choose to do whatever comes next big this stack was it was like so high and now it's all the way down to like 
pretty much just one row. That's wild. I had no idea that Jasmine Gallery came out with a new book in September of this year. How did I miss this? And it looks like it is a love story that's set in a winery. I looked at it on Goodreads and the reviews I think are like four or like three and a half stars. So I think that's like pretty good, but I don't know if I want to pick up another book just yet because I have so many. I'm gonna look around a little bit more and see what else is in here. I think they're refilling this like book section because all the books from the last, like when I came in here the other day, all the books that were on this side are now like moved over here. Like Love and Other Words is over here and it was like right in front of me. But I saw this book and I don't even know what it's about. Just the cover intrigued me. It's just asking for a friend and it kind of looks like two like shy people in the front. It says three best friends are going to solve their relationship woes once and for all. 40 something Jim. Jemima, hmm, interesting. Her life is on track. Well, sort of. She just needs to bat her troubles of X away for good. 20 something Megan has a five phase plan and is nearly ready for phase three, a relationship. And 30 something Simi has had more it's not you's than I do's. These best friends decide it's time to ditch the dating apps and play the love game by their own rules. They're going to ask people out in real life, but only for each other. What could possibly go wrong? This actually looks really good. I feel like this maybe would be set better as a movie. I don't know why I think that, but like sometimes when I get like, um, see like the back of books, I'm just wondering how like they can make this appealing in a book when there's not like a visual. Oh, I'm literally about to drop this. This could be good. I like that the friendship like has a bunch of different ages, not like everyone the same age. It looks like the chapters are like by name. So this one's Jemima and then this one like right after it is Megan. Well, if I can find it, these chapters are kind of long. And this one's Simi. This could be a good one. Never read this book, but I saw this one up here, which made me want to look at the rest of the books. And this, I guess, is the first book. Um, Get a Life, Chloe Brown is a girl who I think is like really sick and she's wanting to like pretty much live out all these like fun nights and so she ends up falling for this guy I think but this was like four stars on Goodreads I feel like I'm really into this Goodreads kick where I'm looking at reviews which kind of makes it easy for like looking for good books propped up by a book. I just got done eating um, ice cream and stuff with uh, Taylor and it was really fun. I feel like I have been just on an emotional roller coaster like over the last, I don't know, couple months and just like working through things on my own and I was talking about that with Taylor a lot. I think sometimes we think that like when we get friends that like everything is gonna fall into place but then you really start working through things that you didn't realize you had to work through because they were kind of buried under the surface because you maybe didn't have connections with people. Like for example, I feel like I'm starting to see myself in the way that I did when I was younger. Like when I was younger, I kind of would always focus on the worst parts of myself because I felt like the reason why I didn't have friends was because they also saw the worst parts of myself. And now as I've gotten older, and I have friends, I just feel like I'm seeing a lot of those things again where I'm like, am I being annoying or am I, um, I don't know, do people, whoa, vain, hi, hi, hi. Um, do people see me as I truly am or are they seeing me like, I don't know, are they seeing the worst parts of myself or are they viewing me in the most accurate way? Um, I don't know there's a lot of things you definitely have to work through when you start getting friends or like building friendships or working on friendships. Oh my gosh, he smells so good. We gave him a bath last night after we got back from the farm and he smells so good. His like fur is so soft. We use the Whey uh, dog shampoo, it works really well. Um, it literally is amazing. But yeah, so I feel like I've been working through that, um, just like telling myself you know, you're an amazing person. There's a lot of great qualities that you have. Um, all things that I know, but I think that it can easily get clouded over your own like insecurities and things. Um, like for example, when I didn't have friends, I was always like, oh, like people don't like me, like I'm this or that. And then I started loving my alone time. And I feel like that's when 
like I was loving my alone time and loving myself and then like friends I feel like started coming to my life after that time and I was loving myself more and now that I have friends in my life I think I'm starting to like backtrack and think about things like that but I'm also such a different person than I was at that then at that time like for example like I was telling Taylor how I really even really, really liking staying at home um just like relaxing i used to be like so obsessed with going to chicago all the time and now i'm just like love like picnics and reading and just like more of a quiet space and i feel like i'm shedding parts of my identity or what i thought was my identity and so now i'm really trying to figure out like who am i and i know that's such like a deep question because i mean i feel like you can take years to try to figure out who you are um but I just am such a different person now in my 30s than I was in my like early 20s, mid 20s, late 20s, like so incredibly different. So um, I don't know, I feel like this is just a new phase of my life and Taylor, she was just like really encouraging me to like sit in that and I feel like I definitely have been and like I hope I can encourage you guys to know that like if you're in a different phase of life than you used to be, that's okay like you don't have to feel like you have to hold on to that old version of yourself like if you used to be the travel girl the party girl or maybe you were the stay-at-home reading girl and now you're the going out like let's take 10 shots girl you know like or guy or they or whoever like i feel like you should be able to be whoever you want to be in whatever phase of life you're in and you should feel comfortable with that and you shouldn't have to feel like if you aren't an old version of yourself that you're not being your true self if that makes sense um that's something i've definitely been working through too so lots of different things lots of different thoughts but just know that on the other side of like i don't know that growth there is like something good like i have to keep telling myself that i feel like when i started and this is definitely the biggest shift i've ever had i think in life like going to my 30s like i just feel so different but i feel like when i started getting out of that bad headspace years ago um where i was constantly like down on myself and then i got into the space of like loving myself and loving who i am i felt so different and it was like a really good different but i think because i was so negative at that time and then i became like so, so positive and like happy it was easy to attribute that goodness to good. Whereas now I feel like I've been really happy. And then like recently I've just kind of been like having more doubts about myself. Um, and now I'm going into another phase of who I am and I'm just hoping that that next phase is good and I feel like it will be. But um, I don't know if you're like going through a phase like that, comment below, let me know. Like I feel like there's so many of us who've had to maybe transition like from I don't know, you are literally kicking me from college to out of college or from middle school to high school or high school to college or maybe even from no children to motherhood or from no friends to having friends. And in those transitions, I feel like you learn about a lot about yourself. And I feel like in this transition, I'm learning a lot about myself and like who I really am and how I value myself and what I hold value in and all those things. So um a little chatty but i'm gonna go to bed these are things i think about at night and now i'm gonna read i did not end up finishing the book earlier let me put that book um oh the camera's on it i didn't end up finishing this book earlier but i'm gonna try to finish it tonight there's not very much left it's so good um i can't wait to give a review on it hopefully i can give my review sometime tomorrow because it's really good but thank you guys so much for watching love you so much um be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it that will let youtube know that you guys liked it and you want to see more and they'll show this video to more people um and comment below if you guys are going through a transition of your own or if you've been through a transition any tips that you have um or if you have never made me transitioned out of um a stage of life and you're maybe nervous for that to come one day or if you're loving who you are just comment below all the things and we can chat about it and just be our own little like happy encouraging community to one another so yeah i am so tired and i'm gonna read and go to bed and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>